What's up everybody? Welcome to another beautiful day here in Mexico City. Today I have an exciting video planned for you guys because I'm going to be showing you guys what 20 US dollars or 400 Mexican pesos can get you here in this incredible city. Now Mexico City is massive. It's huge. There's so much to do so there's no way we're going to cover everything in this video. However, I'm sure by the time you're done watching this, you're going to have an incredible impression on what it's like here in Mexico City. So for now, let's kick this tour off in the area of the Colonia Tacuba. So the first thing we're doing this morning is of course getting our hands on some breakfast. We're heading to a very local spot here in the Colonia Tacuba, a place called Fonda Mariposa to try a traditional Mexican breakfast. We just made it here and it smells so good. I'm excited for this one. So this place is really, really cool. All the staff here are extremely friendly. I feel like I'm eating something that's made in house. They actually don't have hard menus. They just have this whiteboard with all the different things that they offer. Right now we're kicking it off with a nice consomme de vegetales, so a nice vegetable soup. And I also ordered myself chilaquiles, which are also extremely traditional from here in Mexico City. Let's dive on into this. It looks incredible. Mm. So good. And I almost forgot a nice cup of café de olla. Perfect every time. My plate of chilaquiles just made it out and this is absolutely massive. The consome alone completely filled me up and I must say for 40 pesos, two US dollars, you really can't complain. This here is layered with chicken, red sauce and onion and it also came served with some bread along with the five tortillas that it was served with. So a little too much for me because man, we gotta make sure we eat quite a bit today. So. I don't even know what I'm doing with my fork, so let's just go ahead and dive on into this. Wow. Gladys, why do I always wear white when I make food videos? Because it's a challenge. It is a challenge, huh? Yeah. Mm. What can I say? Incredible. Chilaquiles are perfect every time. Now, this one is missing a little bit of egg. Usually it's served with like one topping, but I'm a two topping kind of guy. I like eggs and chicken on top of my chilaquiles. Anyways, I'm gonna smash this plate, then we're gonna head over, get my shoes clean, before jumping onto the train to make our way over to the city center to see what the rest of our $20 can get us here in Mexico City. Hola, buenas tardes. ¿Tienes para limpiar estos zapatos? Una buena lavada. Sí, un buen lavada. Gracias. Just got my shoes clean. That was 25 pesos. I think he charged me a little bit more because he's seen the camera. Usually they are about 15 pesos each. So 1.5 US dollars. Now it's time for us to jump onto the metro. Hola, buenas tardes. ¿Cómo te llamas? Abigail. Chris, mucho gusto. Me quiero limpiar la barba. Quiero un, que me haces un shave. So I got a bit distracted. I didn't make it to the bus station without stopping for a beer trim. I just got myself a complete makeover, man. A beer trim for 50 pesos, two and a half dollars. So today we've gotten a beer trim, breakfast, a shoe cleaning. Now it's time to jump onto the bus to make our way over to the city center where we're gonna start really spending this cash. <laughs> Using the public transportation here in Mexico City is extremely easy to do and I must say it's definitely one of my favorite things to do in the city. It's also extremely clean and extremely affordable. This ride here is only costing us 7 pesos. Right now we are slowly arriving to Plaza Bellas Artes or Parque Central de Alameda where we're going to hopefully get our hands on some incredible tortas that I've heard nothing but amazing things about. We just made it off that bus. Now, I do wanna go ahead and throw out that there are many different forms of public transportation here in the city of Mexico to include Uber and Cabify, which are also both pretty reasonably affordable. We've been using them a lot during the rush hours because the trains are really congested. However, a ride that costs 100 pesos, as I mentioned, can cost seven pesos. So the difference is pretty huge. Right now we're arriving to a place that's extremely famous for making tortas, which is an extremely traditional 
Mexican styled sandwich and I'm excited to show you guys what this place is all about. We made it to Tortas Robles, the place we were looking for. Now rumor has it they have some of the best tortas here in Mexico City and I'm excited to try them out. Now we do have $13 left which is roughly 260 pesos and these tortas here they range anywhere from 30 to 40 pesos depending on what you like. Wow this place is incredible so the original owner's daughter is the lady who owns this place now and she just got done explaining all kinds of amazing stories from these pictures behind me. It turns out that her dad actually created these tortas in the 40s to sell to those who were part of the lower economic class here in the city these tortas were made for the poor and they blew up they got an absolute great name because not only did he sell them but he also gave them away to all of the people that worked with the press that would pass by here in the center of the city. Now, this torta here is actually made out of beef with avocado and chipotle sauce. Now, it's actually milanesa, so really, really thin and breaded. Let's try this. And I really love how all the locals are just coming in and out of here. They're very, very busy and it's just really authentic. It's very small and located right here near Bellas Artes. Mm. This is beautiful. Now this here costs 35 pesos, but as I mentioned, they have tortas that are even 28 pesos. A little shy of $2, about $1.75 for a massive torta that is absolutely delicious. Mm. Man, that torta absolutely hit the spot. Now I actually want to take you around to show you guys where you're probably gonna be able to spend a bit more money when here in the city. Mexico City is known for its street performers. They line the streets. However, today it is a Monday, so there's probably not gonna be too many out there, but I have a feeling we'll come across some pretty cool ones. So let's start making our way over towards the Zocalo and let's see what cool things we can come across. We only just crossed the street and right away there's already some people performing some beautiful music behind me. Now, a lot of the music you're gonna see the street performers play along or the street artists play along this street are pretty famous. So we're not gonna be able to hang out too long. However, let's go give these guys a tip. Man, that was so cool. The instruments that they were playing were insane, like flutes, but wooden flutes. So I did tip them 10 pesos. The tip is just whatever your heart feels like giving. Unfortunately, I only have a few 10 peso coins and I wanna show you guys how many street performers and street artists we can help here in the city of Mexico. Now, right now I am also getting a bit thirsty. So I think the moment we see an OXO, I wanna jump on in there because a few weeks ago, I made a what can you get with $20 in Cancun and we purchased a bottle of water. We purchased one for 20 pesos and I have a feeling that they are a lot cheaper here in the city of Mexico. All right, so I just spotted an It the Clown. I'm gonna go take a picture with this guy because he looks really, really cool. Nice, yes. <laughs> cool. Muchas gracias. Tengan buen día. Wow, how cool is that? I just took a picture with It the Clown for 10 pesos, man. 50 US cents. Let's see what else we can find. We just made it in front of the Palacio de Bellas Artes and you know, something just came to my mind. I wanna take you guys to a secret spot that a lot of people don't know about, but Gladys actually showed me on my very first day here in Mexico City and it absolutely blew me away. Right now, I'm gonna take you guys to a very secret cafe. You know what, I won't tell you too much. Follow me guys. So we just made it to the secret spot and the secret spot is actually this cafe called Don Porfirio's. Now what I love most about this place is the view. The view is spectacular. You can see the Palacio de Bellas Artes right in front of you, the mountains that outline the city of Mexico City as well as Parque Alameda Central. Now over behind me you can also get a small glance of Madero Avenue which is absolutely beautiful. Now this coffee here is a cappuccino and it's only 45 pesos however they did have a cheaper option a cafe de olla which 
Gladys actually just got done ordering and this one here was 33 pesos. So for $2.50, not bad, especially because this view is incredible. Now there's many different terraces around the city of Mexico, but this one here is by far one of my favorite and it's really one of the only ones that doesn't have a scam included in the price. Just made it down from that cafe, so for those of you wondering, it's up there in that building. Right here is the Palacio. So you simply just cross the street and go on up. Now it's time for us to walk down Madero Avenue and see what else we can come across. We just made it onto Madero Avenue right now and you've seen this by now several times on my videos. This here is the main walking street where you're gonna find all of your big name brand stores. Right now I'm actually heading to an OXO that's located right in the middle of the Madero Avenue walking street to go get that water bottle that we were looking for prior to jumping up to the rooftop because although that cappuccino was delicious, I am still extremely thirsty. Here we are, finally to the water. Now I'm actually going with the same bona fide that I bought in Cancun. So in Cancun, this bottle of water inside of the OXO was 20 pesos. Here it's 16, so not too far off, but four pesos cheaper. And by far, one of the things you're gonna be buying a lot while here in the city. Most of the water that comes out of the faucets isn't potable, so you're gonna be spending quite a bit of money on bottled water. This here is about 75 US cents. Man, that water was exactly what I needed right now. Now we just made it here to the Zocalo, which is the main square of the city. And right now I'm actually on the hunt for a nice souvenir before we make it on over to our destination for dinner tonight. Now I know what you guys are gonna say. All you guys did was eat, but what you guys don't see is all of the hours that are killed in between clips. We actually spent about an hour and a half up on that rooftop enjoying the view of the city. And right now, as I mentioned, we're on the hunt for those souvenirs. Hola. Hola, ¿cuántos están los pelotas? That one's cute. Oh, it's different. Yo, how cool is that? We just picked up a little souvenir for 20 pesos. Now, the lady just got done telling us that if you don't have one of these balls, you didn't come to the Zocala. This is extremely popular here. So, I think we're going to hang out for a minute. Let's bounce this around, play with it for a bit. And then we'll head over to our final destination where we're gonna be having some dinner tonight. But I must say, man, it's absolutely beautiful out here. Everybody has one of these in hand, even the adults. It's super, super cool. So we were just bouncing our ball and we ran into our friend Nathan. We actually met him here in the Zocalo on our very first day here in Mexico City. And he went out and took photos of us. Now, Nathan, the puedes decir en español, ¿Cómo, cómo haces tu trabajo de cámara aquí en el Zocalo? Ah, miren chicos, yo aquí en el Zócalo vengo por las tardes y hago sesiones este, improvisadas. Abordo a la gente, le comento que soy fotógrafo de retrato urbano y lo que ellos me deseen donar eh, y aprecien de la foto, con eso hacemos la sesión. Se las envío al instante, se las envío de inmediato para que igual tenga la, la confianza la, la persona y así abordo constantemente a varias personitas aquí. Han habido sesiones bastante interesantes y curiosamente, justamente el secreto es que así los conocí también a ellos yeah. <laughs> y fue muy interesante la forma en la que los, los conocí. Sí, super cool. So, right now Nathan's actually going to take my picture here in the Zocalo and I'll put his link down at the bottom. If you want your pictures taken here in Mexico City, make sure to send Nathan a message. And don't worry guys, you don't need to know how to pose. Nathan tells you exactly how to stand. Como me paro, bro? I just realized that we didn't find the organ players. Usually they're all around the city. However, I'll b-roll a little clip for you right now so you know exactly what I mean, but it's pretty much like the national anthem of Mexico City. Typically speaking, they're found everywhere, but as I mentioned, I don't know what it is. When I go out to make a video, man, everything is complicated, guys. just made it here to a place called Blend Home Burgers. Now, they're actually a dark kitchen located here in Mexico City, but I had some burgers from their company a few weeks ago, and I absolutely fell in love and knew that I had to try them once more before leaving back to the US. So, right here, we're gonna walk on in and order some food. Now, they are on Uber Eats and also on Rap. Thank you. 
So the burger just came out and they were actually nice enough to let me get the bacon on my burger. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Now this burger, you'll see exactly why I love this so much. It has a potato bun and the inside is just spectacular. Look at the grilled onions, the cheese, the nice fresh patty. This bread is incredibly soft and it's also been put on the grill as well. So it gives it that nice crisp, that nice crunch that you're looking for. Don't take my word for it, just come here. If you're in Mexico City and you don't have one of these blend home burgers, you're definitely missing out. It's by far one of my favorites. I'm gonna have to look for a place back home that has a potato bun like this one. Anyways guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching me run around the city of Mexico and do some pretty silly things like accidentally shave my beard off. But that was the whole point of today's video to show you guys that you can in fact have a great time here in Mexico City with only 20 US dollars in your bank. Now, I'm gonna get back to killing this burger. As always, please go ahead and smash that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a few days for another incredible video from here in Mexico City. Later, guys.